What you are looking at is destruction in Horseshoe Beach, Florida. The children's table is coming out today to Horseshoe Beach, the remnants of what was left of Horseshoe Beach, to help distribute food items here in this area. The sides of the road are still littered with debris on both sides. Today you will find us at Horseshoe Beach First Baptist Church. As I look around me today, I can see the devastation all over the area. I've just arrived in Horseshoe. I hope to get an opportunity to speak with some people joining us at our food distribution today. And if you listen in the background, you will hear the sounds of work happening everywhere. Right now at the First Baptist Church of Horseshoe, outside the building, you can see the water lines, debris up to the windows. And if you look, these windows are not open at all. These windows are completely blown out. I was just talking with someone that told me their walls, when you look in here, you can see that the walls are completely gone. That's cinder blocks and electric lines just hanging. When you look out here on the exterior of the building, you can see the damage as well. There's their wall brace right now. They have another wall brace over there. People are lining up, getting ready for our buses distribution. Again, if you are in the area right now, Horseshoe Beach will be serving you from 11.30 a.m. until about 12.30 today. We are the children's table. I had an opportunity to talk to some of the people here at Horseshoe and was just told about this building, how it used to be in a completely different location and it landed right here. That watermark that I showed you was on this building in back of me, about halfway up, say about the windowsill area. That water was all the way up to that level throughout all of this area. Just directly across the street from the Baptist Church, we'll see a foundation where something once was and no longer is. You'll see these foundations kind of all over. Back in here, we have a home that looks like it was completely destroyed. Just about the time I'm in shock over some of the other buildings, there's this one. Here the entire building is down on the ground. This just in back of the Baptist Church here in Horseshoe. Yet another house right next door is perfect, looking beautiful. A little bit more destruction as we go down the way. This poor house lost its windows and some roof. It looks like maybe a tree hit it. A little closer to the water, and you can see more homes really took the brunt of the storm. We are the children's table all together right now, getting ready for our distribution out here at Horseshoe Beach this Thursday morning. We pray you just bless this time, bless the people that are here, continue to watch over us and just guide and direct us. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. And here we are inside Horseshoe Baptist Church. What you're looking at right now, that light shining in, well, that's part of the cinder block wall that is being braced. That wood is bracing the outside of the cinder block wall. This, too, was a wall until Hurricane Helen knocked it down. The debris that you're seeing on the walls, that is your water line from the flooding that occurred in here. You'll see the drywall is cut out, some of it above my head's level. What you're looking at now is the inside of the church. Once again, the wall completely washed out. And now we're just driving through Horseshoe Beach.
honestly, some of this section looking much, much better than some of the section closer to the roads. Oh, here we go. Now as we start to get closer to the water itself, Here I have foundation after foundation. It almost looks as if they were getting ready to build new homes here or something, but that's not the case at all. Washed out. My goodness, Horseshoe Beach, as I'm just driving down the road looking at some of the items that are here as debris, it's just like, wow, how did they get here? My goodness, the power of this storm. Look, multiple refrigerators, multiple refrigerators. Of course, I expect some porches and patios and stuff like that, but the contents of refrigerators, houses, a chair from inside someone's house as we continue on. Over here, it's their living room. I mean, we've got couches. Mattresses. New construction. I mean, here it looks like someone's newly made something. I can't tell what that new wood is right there or what it once was, but that's new wood. Someone just built something. Pillows. The interior houses. Look. A full bathroom. Was this someone's home? Wow. My goodness. estimates as I'm driving down the road. So far, I'm looking at about two miles of debris just scattered up and down the road leading into and out of Horseshoe Beach. This is the debris, I guess, collection center. Someone called it the landfill. It wasn't the landfill before this event, but it certainly is now. This is where Horseshoe Beach has been placing all of the remnants, the debris from all of the destroyed homes in the area. Crews have been working around the clock since Hurricane Helene cleaning this area. Lined roads once again. We are now in the town of Steen Hatchie getting ready for another food distribution with the children's table. The Rural Food Bank of Bronson 
coming out here almost an hour from our location because we need to help our friends in our communities. Now visiting the town of Steenhatchee. You'll see the debris lined streets way before you see the welcome signs to the town of Steenhatchee, Florida. Debris still covering the ground. Families are still in need out here. A month after Helene, debris trucks staying busy on the highway, removing debris from all the downed trees, the houses. Debris is still everywhere, piled up along the streets here in Steenhatchee, Florida. Piles of debris greet you long before the welcome sign to Steenhatchee, Florida. Signs everywhere that Hurricane Helene has been here. Truckloads of debris still leaving the area. Here we are right now at the hub of Steenhatchee. This is the Friendship Chapel Church, and it looks like this is the staging area for Steenhatchee's recovery. The Children's Table, a rural food bank out of Bronson, is visiting here, Steenhatchee, helping out. We're doing a food distribution right now.